All things are being equal. The seventh race on a Sunday will go off at 10 past 4, 16.10 is the carded time. It's the www.tabgold.co.za conditional graduation. It's over 1,800 meters. And at this early stage, scratched his horse number two, Issy Kerto. That's the runner that uh, will be taking no part. Garth Puller trains number three backpacker for uh, David Ferraris and their team in Hong Kong. Let's take a listen in and hear what Garth had to say about this horse. Yeah, he's, look, he's done well. Um, I don't think he really has a distance. He's going over 1,800 meters. Um, I put a line through his last run. It wasn't him. Um, I think he's competitive. It's a graduation. It's a conditions graduation. Um, he's got to have a chance. Okay, that's the thoughts on backpacker. A horse who certainly has got to be factored into, into quartets and trifectas and, and would have a chance here. But Graham, before we talk about the two principal contenders, which seem to be four African Sunrise and five Special Blend, you've got, well, let's say, call it a bit of a lurker or a horse that you're going to include for places and swingers. Tell us about horse number eight in jest. Yeah, look, it does look like it's a boat race between African Sunrise and Special Blend, priced up 15 to 10 and 16 to 10, respectively. Uh, backpacker at four to one. Uh, Bayview Express at seven to one is the only other runner quoted in single figures. But then I had a long, hard look at number eight in Jess. Now, on ratings, she can't win it. She's not well handicapped, but she does get uh, a couple of kilos off of the services of Peterser. So she only carries 51. So receiving 10 kilos uh, from African Sunrise and Special Blend. And the run that gives me some encouragement was her only run over the course and distance where she ran second. Uh, narrowly beaten by Sacred Ibis. That may not be strong enough form to be a factor here. Uh, so uh, The fact I'm, of the matter is she's done well over the course and distance. She's done well over the course and distance and uh, it's again a question of the pace and how the race works out. Um, so, you know, it, I just give her a chance. She's yes. my sneak in the race. I really am expecting the winner to come from either African Sunrise or Special Blend. These two horses have been going head to head for so many, on so many occasions. It's difficult to know which one is going to come out on top on this occasion. I've given the nod to number five Special Blend narrowly in front of number four African Sunrise. On race ratings, given the conditions of the race Special Blend's race rating is 89, African Sunrise 88. Those two are clear of Bayview Express, whose race rating is 85. At the these weights, if the official merit ratings are correct, Backpacker does have a bit of a challenge on his hand, uh, on his hands, but certainly not without a chance. So, you know, as far as the 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 the, the outright selections are concerned, it does look as it's going to be difficult to topple Special Blend and African Sunrise. My lurker in the race, and no more than that, is number eight in jest. Okay, so there we go. So for those that are on limited budgets, which is the majority of us, we could go. Uh, you know, narrow down to four African Sunrise and five Special Blend as the betting suggests. So uh, that's race seven, race eight just around the corner.